Okay, so now that we're back here, it goes, I think, unless I'm wrong here, if I am wrong, I get a long run back just to go slide down a ladder, but I think we're fine, we're ready now. Tomorrow, black dragon posing the duress. And now's not the time to be a tough guy. Yes, it is causing us duress. Yes, I thought as much. It's called Calamite. Ferocious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. You know me too well. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, walk, and see how God hunts dragons. Hey, freaking shot in the dark here, but what are you gonna do? I, I, we're, I think he's gonna pull a daredevil here, or not, it's gonna be like a mix of daredevil and, you know, green arrow here. Don't even ask me how he had done how he does this. It is a mystery to everyone involved. And now, Calamit is actually fightable. <laughs> yes. A true shot was never loosed. That bat will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah. Dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. And there we have it. And I, 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 like I said, I'm more confident in my skills against Calamite than I am against Manus. So I'm gonna try our, try Calamite here one time. But I don't really look to actually kill it. About like Artorius, like I said. But who knows? Maybe some of my, some of my, you know, mighty experience will actually help me kill the thing first try again. I don't have near that much experience fighting Manus, though, so uh, I'm, I can't really rely on that for that fight. I'm going to re refill my Estus, so. though. While I will have to fight the dogs again, hopefully this time I actually won't get hit by the darn things. And not have to waste an Estus, because if I'm going to fight Calamite, I'm going to need every single Estus I have. They're only plus two. That is a very poor Estus flask I have on my character right now. Normally, by this point in the game, I would assume you're supposed to have like a plus four, maybe plus five Estus, maybe even plus three. I'm pretty sure plus two is a bit on the low end of the spectrum. Well, I guess we'll see. There is an item back there that I probably should go get, but I don't really feel like doing it right now. I don't remember it being that important either, so we'll see. Priority right now is just not to get hit by these frickin' things. Oh god. Oh well, uh, it was uh, a lot of dancing around just for that. Not really efficient in the least with my stamina. But at least I didn't get hit. Oh, here we go again. Damn it! I nearly got hit. I think I should have gotten hit there, but only one more to go, I think. Maybe two. Oh, coughing right when the dog aggro's. Not really a good omen. Damn it. Damn it. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass for that. Damn it, no. I'm gonna... Well, there went the saving the Estus part. I guess I should have just went back and just went back the long way without resting because it made no damn difference in the end. Okay, so... 
If you haven't noticed, I'm not really paying a darn bit of attention to my rings this playthrough. I have, like, nothing that I normally would use. Normally, I would use, like... Oh, I don't know, the Chloranthi ring for this, but I don't have that this playthrough, so... My best, best prime Ring of Steel Protection. Mind you, Calamite doesn't really do a whole lot of physical attacks. He mainly uses dark magic and fire. I'm not sure which is classified as, but it damn sure ain't physical, I don't think. Knowing my luck, it actually is physical after I just said that, but... You don't want to fight Calamite up here, so don't even think about trying to go back up there when the fight starts. Here we go. Oh boy. This is not going to end well. Not for me. Not for me. God damn it. You dick. You don't do that when someone's picking up items. Oh Jesus. Well, here we go. Trying to dodge all this crap. Back it up. There is a ledge I have to be careful of, but I think it's on the other end of the of the stage. I just gotta wait for him to preferably not do that. That's what we wanted to do right there. Get a nice bit of chunk of damage in. Hopefully not die to his physical attacks. Which I'm just really nervous about because, well, they're kind of hard to dodge. Oh lord, that was close. Way closer than I think it ever should have been. Decided not to risk it there. That's a good chance to get a hit on his tail, but I kind of screwed it up royally there. By being too wuss there. Oh god. That can easily ruin your fight right there, that one attack. If you get hit by that. Oh Jesus. Oh, I forgot about that attack. Forgot all about that crap. It's all coming back to me. This fight is coming back to me. I love this fight. It's such a fun fight. If you screw up even the tiniest bit, you die. That's why I love about it. But it's fair. It's not totally, you know, screw you over quality. That's what I love about it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, God. Back it up. I knew the safest path there was just to back it up. If I tried to go and get it a hit in, that would have been very, very bad. Oh yeah, just take your opportunities where you get them. Oh lord, that was close. Far closer than I would have liked. Oh crap, I realized I dodged too early there. I was hoping to get a perfect run this time, but no, no point, not in the cards. I feel saddened that I, I, that I got hit there. I really do. Oh, lord, I forgot he could do that that close to you. I did, I forgot all about that crap. Oh well, at least I'm doing decent for my first attempt. I'm, I'm doing pretty bad, actually. At least I think I am, like by my standards of a Calamite fight. This is pretty bad. But then again, I fought Calamite, like I said, thousands of times before, so my standards are probably a little different than most people's regarding this fight. You don't even want to know how many times- oh my lord, I never saw that happen. You don't want to know how many times I've gotten Calamite's tail for hosts before, because everybody wanted that damn thing before. It's a piece of crap weapon, just so we all know, but people do want that thing, so I got rather adept at it. And he starts doing that, it's really best to- oh. It's really best to just do what I did there. Oh Jesus! No, that was- that surprised me a little- I was trying to be fancy there and trying to brute force this and- oh crap. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm really just getting careless at this point in the fight and it's a bad, bad thing to have happen. Come on. I just one-shot Calamite. Well, I guess experience does count for something. <laughs> yeah, victory achieved. I love that fight. Seriously, my favorite fight in all of the series. I love Calamite.
And that's that's a hard that's a hard choice out of the entire series of which boss is my favorite. It is Calamite. It is just such a fun fight. It's fair, but at the same time punishing. As opposed to say, mm, what's a good example of a punishing but like I'm trying to think of a good punishing boss that just doesn't seem fair. Off the top of my head, I can't really seem to think of any, because most of the bosses in these games are, you know, rather well designed, but if I had to pick one that I just personally hate just from the thing of it, would be like, hmm, damn, I can't think of any bosses that just aren't fair. I guess if I had to pick one, it'd be like Bed of Chaos. While that fight is fair, it just don't seem like it. Because it's it is like the gimmiest of gimmicky of the gimmick er, gimmickiest of the gimmick fights. But yeah, that was freaking fun. <laughs> I had missed the crystal lizard, which is like right as soon as you go down the ladder, it should be right by that waterfall. But it, I think you don't really want to try and do that your first time through the fight. At least I wouldn't. Oh, excuse me. Now watch. Somehow, some way, next time I'm gonna one-shot Manus. Don't ask me how I'm gonna do it, but I've one-shot every other boss in the DLC. And again, for the record, I'm pretty sure my best showing against Calamite to date was right there. Normally it takes me two, maybe three attempts. Well, didn't take me that this time. Either I'm getting better, or... Calamite just went easy on me, and I'm, I don't really look for the second one to have occurred there. He didn't seem to be taking anything easy. Oh boy, but I've left myself the two hardest bosses for me in the entire game. Gwen is going to be a challenge, because I've... Well, maybe he might not be a challenge. I haven't fought him without a shield before. I thought a lot of these things would be huge challenges without a shield. And they've turned out to be kind of just bupkis. It's not really difficult. Hell, at this point, I'd say having the Gray Shield is actually more difficult than using the Katana. Noob Katana users, man. Noob. But on, but on a serious note, that was not serious if you couldn't tell. On a serious note, though, it is a lot more dangerous to use a Katana and no shield. But it does make the fights go considerably faster because you have to dodge and stay close to the boss to kill it faster so you don't get hit as often. Which makes about no sense, logically, but the faster the boss dies, the less chances you have of getting hit, I think, is the, the main thing there. The main theory at work. So let's go talk to Go, give him the good news, and that will be it for today. I honestly did not expect to kill Calamite. It seemed like every time I say, I'll try it once, and if I fail after that, I'm done for the day. I just go into beast mode and just one-shot the thing. Granted, I screwed up. I, I almost had a perfect Calamite fight, man. I've never had a perfect, perfect Calamite fight. I've had, I've got hit once fights, but never perfect. I was so hoping to get that on camera. But you don't care about that. Because I'm sure everybody out there is, you know, tired of hearing me talk about Calamite. So I shall shut up about it and let go do the talking as soon as we get up here. Because I think he has quite a bit to say after, after that. <sighs> First defeated Calamite, wondrously played. Lord Quinn's blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. Yeah, he'll never do that again, that's for sure. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost the score of our own. Exhilaration. Pride. Hatred. Rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. With our twilight, old thoughts return. And great waves of nostalgia. Ah. This great bow? I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. 
Yeah, that's the great bow my I usually use on my strength characters because I think it's like the better of the two great bows. But I, I think it scales more, but it does less damage. Which, if you have a lot of strength like I do, usually it means it's better. I might be getting that backwards though. Don't take me on my word. I suspect thou has taken a gander at it, but the dark of the abyss has swallowed poor Artorias. Threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseal. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Oh, I never actually paid attention to that before, so Koth was the one that got them, or maybe even Fromped, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna guess Koth, the Dark Wraith, apparently maybe got them to actually go do it themselves. I never paid attention to that. If thy wish is to succeed Poratorius and challenge the spread of the dark, then thou must face Manus, father of the abyss. The dark emanates from Manus himself. Even if this land shall expire, thou may be able to prevent further corrosion. But even so, one day the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. And even a legend such as thine self can do nothing to stop that. Now, do not mistake my words. I cherish my word. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, how is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. Wait, 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 wait. I've never actually talked to him this much. Wait a minute, are you talking about the guy in the frickin'... Almost, it's almost called a cathedral ward. Up in the freaking church, because isn't that guy, isn't this like a thousand years prior? Is that dude like immortal or something? I've, I've, alright. I don't remember in Dark Souls if you just walk off if they get mad or not, but I remember in Demon Souls if you used to like strike up a conversation and just leave, people would get mad. Not really mad mad, but you know, funny dialogue mad. What's the hurry? Where are you off to? Or whatever, you know, stuff like that, but... I, I generally try not to do that unless it's an NPC I just don't like. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hopefully this helped you with Calamit, the Black Dragon, or whatever the hell his name is, or his title is. And let me level up here, and we shall be heading off. Should get two level ups out of this. I'm really, really loading up on a ton of vitality, because guess what? Man, this is going to kick the absolute crap out of me. And if I'm gonna have a chance of brute forcing this, I'm gonna need all the health I can get. For whoopsie moments, because there will be plenty of them. But yep, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or what have you, please put it in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you, and as always, if you'd like to help support the channel and help it grow, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. And hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell everyone, until next time.